Hi guys, here in this video, we are going to discuss career opportunities with BSc and MSc chemistry. Is chemistry really helpful for promising career? What is the scope of opportunities available with BSc and MSc chemistry in government and private sectors? We can discuss all of them with basic eligibility criteria. Okay, now just look at gout jobs with chemistry as a basic qualification. So here, with BSc chemistry as a basic qualification, one can choose chemistry as an optional subject in IAS CSC examination, civil services examination. So here, I'm going to give one successful example, Churchit Gaur. Chachit Gauji cleared IAS CSE 2015 examination. Whenever we look at his optional subjects, one of his optional subject is chemistry. So here it is simply uh, proving that if we have the basic command on basics and advanced concepts of chemistry, one can get maximum score from chemistry and which will helpful to clear IAS CSC examination. Okay, right. When we look at other popular examinations or uh, other popular chemistry chaps, so we need to look at ONGC. So to become chemist in ONGC, one should have PG chemistry and maths, physics, along with chemistry at BSc level with at least 60% marks. Okay, so to become chemist in ONGC, one should have basic qualifications like PG chemistry and maths physics at BSc level with 60%, at least 60% of marks. Okay, and here one should clear GATE examination. So based on GATE score every year, ONGC recruiting chemists. Okay, right. Now just look at another popular chemist. Uh, recruitment from NTPC. So here, to become lab assistant trainee in NTPC, one should have BSc as a basic qualification. Okay, right. I am to become assistant chemistry trainee in NTPC. So one should have MSc chemistry as a basic qualification. Okay, now just look at here DRDO. So to become DRDO JRF, okay, to get JRF in DRDO, one should have PG chemistry with 60% of marks, at least 60% of marks with net or gate qualification. Okay, right. And to become or to get the post scientist B in DRDO, one should have first class PG with chemistry with GATE score. So here uh, DRDO also recruit scientist B post through GATE score. Okay, right. Now just look at another popular recruitment through HPCL. Here, HPCL. Here, to become quality control officer in HPCL, one should have basic uh, qualification as MSc chemistry. Okay, I am to become assistant laboratory, just assistant laboratory analyst in HPCL. One should have 60, minimum 60% of marks uh, in BSc chemistry okay i am to become assistant process technician so one should have 60 percent marks in bsc with chemistry as optional subject okay right now another popular recruitment from bark okay so to get a recruit in bark one should have msc chemistry that is pg chemistry with a physics up to BSc level, okay. One should have 
physics as an optional in BSc level along with chemistry then only one can be eligible to be a to recruit in BARC okay and in intermediate one should have math, math and physics okay right and here uh, gate score is also important to get a recruitment in uh, BARC okay now in forensic science so to become chemist in forensic science one should have MSc chemistry okay BSc in BSc one must must study forensic science okay along with chemistry then only one can be eligible to become chemist in forensic laboratories across the India okay right so these are all different popular chemistry uh, jobs with uh, chemistry as a basic qualification okay right now we can see other so like uh, with MSc qualification so here just take MSc qualification so one can go through CSIR net or gate examination already we have seen gate and uh, net uh, importance in various recruitments of uh, gout sector uh, jobs as a chemist okay right and here so through the CSIR and the gates one can go through go for PhD and uh, MTech so here we have so many uh, universities which are offering PhDs okay to become doctorate and we can also see with MSc so here uh, we can write set or uh, net examinations here so through the set one can recruit for uh, recruit as a lecturer and assistant professor in various university universities and colleges okay and also with msc and bsc qualification one can recruit for uh, as a chemist in r d and pharmaceutical industries so we have so best the scope of opportunities as a private sector in pharmaceutical industries with bsc and in M, uh, bsc and msc chemistry qualifications okay so i hope uh, this video is helpful for you thank you very much